After my divorce, I had a lot of difficulties in creating healthy relationships. I remember immediately after my divorce declaring I would never get married again. Unconsciously, the pain was too great to risk trying again, so I didn't date for over a year. Once I did decide to date again, my relationships were disasters. After a few failed relationships, I began to notice a pattern. My relationships would last three to four weeks, and they would end up with the women telling me that they care too much about me to stay in the relationship. Think about that for a moment. How much sense does that make to you? How can you care about someone and then leave them? I was completely confused. After some self-reflection and research, I uncovered the problem. One thing that each of the women said was, I was emotionally unavailable, and therefore there was no reason for them to continue a relationship with me. At first, it didn't make sense, but upon further investigation, I learned exactly what they meant. Let me explain by sharing one of my relationship experiences with you. I met a woman at the gym who was absolutely gorgeous. On a scale of 1 to 10, she was honestly a 12. She had a near-perfect body, had a great job, drove a nice car, and was extremely fun to be with. After a couple of dates, I asked her if she would like to go to a pool party one of my neighbors was having. She agreed, and on the day of the party, she showed up in a two-piece bikini, and she was absolutely stunning. We walked down the street to my neighbor's house, and when we walked in, all of my friend's jaws literally dropped. Of course, I was filled with pride as my friends all stared at how beautiful she was, and of course, my ego received a big boost. We had a wonderful time at the party, and afterwards, we went back to my place and had a few drinks and a few laughs. She told me she was happy that my friends found her so attractive, and she specifically wore the bikini to impress my friends. I told her thanks for making me look so good, and I appreciated her allowing me to show her off to my friends. A few days later, I was hanging out with my friends, and of course, the topic of conversation was my date. They all wanted to know where and how we met, and the single guys wanted to know the secret to finding such a beautiful woman. Interestingly enough, no one ever asked what type of woman she was. The only thing they were concerned with was her physical beauty, and of course, so was I. What I realize in retrospect is, I was definitely proud to have my friends admire me for having been with such a beautiful woman, but deep down inside, I really felt insecure about my ability to create a deep relationship that would allow me to keep her. Internally, I had a deep fear of abandonment, and it would ultimately sabotage my relationship. Having a fear of abandonment caused me to try to do everything right to keep her in a relationship with me. I was extremely nice and supportive, I was very attentive to her needs, and I was able to satisfy her sexually. On the surface, it appeared I was doing everything right. But unfortunately, my relationship pattern showed up again, so I was obviously doing everything wrong. One night, while lying in bed, she asked me to share how I really felt about her. She also asked why I never mentioned if I missed her when she was away. I thought about it. I knew I wasn't in love with her, but I also knew I cared deeply about her. But I honestly didn't know what to say. I really enjoyed being with her, but I honestly didn't know how to share how I really felt about her. She then made a comment about my inability to express how I felt. And she said she was afraid of getting emotionally close to me because she knew I was emotionally unavailable. I then became angry because I thought I was doing everything right in the relationship, and now she was saying I wasn't emotionally available. I tried to explain to her that my actions should have told her how much I cared about her, but her reply was my actions couldn't express how I felt about her. Only the words from my heart could relay the feelings I had for her. Since I couldn't verbalize how I felt, she didn't believe that I really cared about her. 
After that conversation, our relationship changed, and eventually she left, saying she cared too much about me to stay in a relationship. When we broke up, she was crying and saying that she had so much love to give to me, but she knew I was not capable of reciprocating that love back to her, and she wasn't willing to give so much and not receive it back from me. She said that was her reason for leaving, and at the time, I truly didn't understand her reasoning, but because of my growth, I now know exactly what she meant and why she left. Although I was sad when she left, a part of me was in complete denial. I rationalized it in my head by saying, she doesn't know what she's missing. I'm a good man, and I know there are lots of fish in the sea, so I'll just have to find the one that's right for me. I denied my sadness and never admitted to myself that I really didn't want to break up with her. She was an amazing woman, but I simply didn't have the emotional tools to create intimacy and connection with her at the time. So I rationalized it by saying it was her loss, not mine. Deep down inside, though, I really wish she hadn't left. 